CDI is uh, a disease that's characterized by uh, it's basically a dysbiosis in which the patients that are treated with broad spectrum antibiotics they undergo dysbiosis that basically disrupts their uh, microbiota. Now the disruption of the microbiota is important because the microbiota in its in essence controls uh, C. difficile as a pathogen. So essentially C. difficile is an opportunistic pathogen. If the microbiota is disruptive, is disrupted, then you remove that ability of the microbiota to control CDI. So in essence what happens after treatment, you have two scenarios. You have one where the patients are still have their uh, disrupted microbiota. Uh, C. difficile, which is a spore forming microorganism, it produces a spore. That spore is able to survive uh, for an extended period of time within the intestinal tract and is, is not affected by uh, antibiotic treatment. The survival of that spore then leads to uh, um, germination of uh, C. difficile. It then receives the infection or in essence uh, leads to a recurrence of infections. So that's one case where that's considered as an endogenous means of recurrence because C. difficile survives as a spore and then uh, um, gives rise to a recurrence in patients with uh, continued dysbiosis. The next aspect is uh, uh, reinfection. So in reinfection, the patients uh, after treatment their dysbiosis is still severe, the microbiota is still disturbed, and as a result, it, it's, a, it's a nice or it's a, it's a good environment for reinfection to, to happen, where the patients become infected with another set of C. difficile spores from the environment, and uh, within the environment, uh, uh, in the intestinal tract, uh, germination happens, and then it gives rise to the infection. Now, part of the reasons uh, behind this uh, dysbiosis uh, being extended, sometimes it can do uh, uh, with happens to do with underlying diseases like inflammatory bowel diseases, where patients already are prone to have uh, disruptive uh, microbiota. Uh, it also happens to do with the age of patients as well, and that elderly patients they may have less diversity in their uh, uh, microbiota as well. So the microbiota is critical to controlling uh, C. difficile infection, and certainly critical to controlling whether or not a patient will recur after treatment.